Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Ally John on the Mysterious JG. I'm going to throw down a save here just in case anything happens with the video. I don't really anticipate running into problems where I would be like, eh, save scum, losing core units. But I, I, I am realizing, oh, I haven't saved since the last video started. Like, what happens if the video gets corrupted or eaten? So hopefully just raising that possibility doesn't make it happen. But yeah, I did want to be prepared. All right. Uh, I think broadly speaking, we just need to be heading towards uh, Yeah, I didn't think that was a good idea, but I was just curious as to how it would go. I mean, I know this isn't normally a good idea, but I just feel like they're just bunkering down in the cities they have left at this point. It would be pretty bad luck to run into German armor right now, but um, if it happens... I guess that's the price I pay for being too aggressive. All right, that's those guys all move. Oh, no, that's, that's the infantry themselves. Okay. I'm setting up other bridging infantry. Did nobody... Is that city not held by us? It is. Okay, it was just a trick of the map. Maybe I should have just let that last video go very slightly long, but I didn't. Oh well. That's the end of it. We really are ending the turn now. Show who really is Dance Ivar. Okay, I mean you gotta. They have to. They have to try to attack when they can. In this case, they attacked while we were crossing a river. Did I not spot those infantry? Or, uh... Interesting. And these guys crossed a river to... I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what they were thinking. Attackers would lose six gear. We're both on... Yeah, sometimes the uh, flat cannons have just really good combat stats. Better than you might think they should have. But now they are on a river. Probably should have checked for fighters on the, you know, new German fighters arriving. There is none. At least not that we can see at the moment. I don't think we're taking that airfield on this turn. Ah, oh, maybe we are.
Didn't really think to use that here, which is what I probably should have done. Crap. The Stu-Gig <laughs> was not able to defeat us. That didn't go that well. Attacking their, uh... You know what, we'll keep you down here. You guys need experience. And uh, we've got some weakened units down here that you can pick on in the future. These uh, German recon vehicles don't want to go down without a fight, though. Guys, uh, I mean, St. Malo, this, the 108th U.S. Paratroop Division came in, had a lot of aerial support, but they basically came in and took a city that was behind German lines. I mean, ish. By the time we got there, like, there was kind of the lines that caught up with them, but that was still pretty badass. Oh, that didn't go the way we wanted it to. I'll just throw shit at them and hope they get whittled down a bit. At least we'll... Oh! Four... Oh, the fourth? Okay, I mean, I have to... I guess I gotta consider. These guys are veterans. This is the fourth 1939 Wehrmacht infantry. Now there's, like, 43 infantry at this point. You Like, th this is an old infantry unit with inferior stats, but in theory, if they're the 4th infantry unit, and they're still, like, from 39? That being said, they've got, like, no... Okay, never mind. This is the AI spamming uh, the cheapest available... one of the cheapest available units, because it has no experience, and is 39 infantry instead of 43, so it's a little annoying. But my headcanon would be those guys are veterans, but I guess it's just a veteran division? that no longer has its best troops. Because they did. Now here's a place where I might have thought that they would uh, try to counterattack us. I think I'm just going to try to land paratroops here on the next turn. Typhoon, you are supposed to be a tank killer. Kill a tank. Because those guys are kind of tanks. They're very tank-esque. Okay, that was really key that I got off the first attack there. And this is it. This will represent us. Oh, good. That was perfect, because if they'd retreated, it would have been slightly to our disadvantage. They could have rearmed uh, on the next turn. We've got more ammo, but, but a, a joint Anglo-American force has taken La Havre. Which you may have remembered as having been on the D-Day map as its own little thing that was covered with fortresses. This is, this is. Excuse me, the Overlord map. Eh, you just start getting more dudes. Like elite reinforcements, I should say, since that's what they're actually called. Do I want you coming down there? I mean, this is like a non-victory objective area that I want to be working on. 
We, you don't need the experience. You're probably best off being ready for the big fight over here. Spitfires love killing vulnerable tanks. These tanks are feeling very vulnerable right now. I shouldn't be uh, tormenting them in this way. I'm just using you guys for spotting here, but if you could pick a path that gives you the best view, thank you. Okay. This would be one of the better... Uh, Better defended places to come across in a little while. It's got air defense and uh... man, I love ha man, I love being a gangster. I love having fully developed Lancaster suppression bombers. It's just a good thing. Typhoons. A lot less useful, obviously. Typhoons, more like typhools. Get it? I really stuck it to this uh, World War II British airplane. <laughs> I think that's it for my air forces, right? Yes. Okay. Jeez. I guess I can't expect the trucks to drive that deep into the forest, huh? Alright, you can at least do some good old fashioned shooting on the next turn. Let's just inch ahead. So we don't run into ambush. And Bush is the meanest of all the Bush sisters. Sorry. Okay. Um, I guess there are Bush sisters, like Jenna and whatever her sister's name was. Oh, wow. We could just kill you dead. But this is probably more valuable right now. Oh, nice. That went exceedingly well. All right, well, they uh, didn't go down without a fight. I'll give them credit for that. Let's get you to where you can help out as a bridge on the next turn. And let's let you take that city. And let's let you come up here to where I guess people would be crossing that bridge. Hold on. I think once we take this city, yeah, these guys need to concentrate on going west. Like this, it's a big area that you have to conquer. But any of these cities is a place from which they could produce units. So you kind of have to be thinking about where could they make like a super cheap tank or recon and then sneak in behind you if you're going to be like me and stupidly not defend the objectives after you've taken them. So some of these places are like, yeah, like a very small infantry force can take them with an, with air, like absolute air supremacy. <sighs> the terrain here is awful. 
Um, Drew may end up being taken by these guys after the southernmost group that's uh, taking care of Rouen may be swinging north to take care of Drew. And then Chartres, obviously, we should be taking with this road. This is a city that would be uh, yeah, having really rugged transports, like zooming down there and bombing the shit out of it before taking it. Maybe that's a thing to try. Maybe we should have these transports heading this way. Assume there's just like one infantry unit here. Uh, have bombers and our paratroop unit that we've got uh, going on. No, I just, I just brought the paratroopers down here, didn't I? Oh, well. The, these fights could get ugly. This is the best defended spots. These are the best defended spots left on the map right now. Oh, hold on, it's not that. There's probably some pretty. Well, actually, Orleans. And tours, tours is probably where the the nastiest fight that's going to take that's let yet to happen is going to take place. Although yeah, there's a couple of spots here, Nantes, tours, Orleans. There's a couple of fights that could get ugly. I mean, comparatively speaking, we've been just rolling over them the last couple of turns since we had the initial breakout. What's the range on this bad boy? Three. These guys, with spotting of two, yeah. These guys are kind of going to be a pain in the butt just because they're kind of making it so it's... Don't have uh, that many places from which we can't be spotted. What the hell am I trying to say? We, um... Those guys have a, had a spotting of two and we're right out in our faces, which meant... We couldn't really bring a lot of artillery up too close. These guys are in range and they are spotted, so they will get attacked on the next turn. But like this truck. What is their range when they are not in that truck? Good. Three. So with that unit gone, they can they can be here. Ah, the hell, they're out of range anyway. I'm trying to make like I have this huge, wonderful strategy based on the spotting, but In reality, we're just going with they can only shoot so many things at once. All right, let's uh, move it. Let's not waste a lot of time here. Because I'd like to see if we can wrap up a whole other turn quickly at the end of this video. So knew that would happen. Could have been worse. I was actually afraid these guys would attack that tank unit and wipe them out. So this is also not too shabby for us that they used, chose to attack here. Alright, and now we got the US M18 anti-tank. Which has, compared to, say, the Jagpanzer Elephant, it's got not particularly good heart attack, comparatively speaking. 
It's got terrible defense compared to it. Uh, where's initiative? I don't even see initiative. Yeah, like it's it's just not. And here's another one. Oh, this has got better stats, but still not great. Like these are not, these are not as good as the German ones. Now you can make your own decisions about whether they're actually accurately representing the relative strengths of those units. All right, you guys almost got one full star. I'm so proud. Okay. So it looks like you guys all got refueled, which is cool. You guys are out of ammo anyway, so all I'm really doing is taking prestige away. And killing one. It's probably a terrible idea, but uh, oh, it doesn't look like they had air defense in this spot. Nice. Yeah, these are interesting. They can't they cannot initiate attack against ground targets. But they can um they deal heavy damage when attacked by ground targets, but they can't initiate cuz I guess they just used to take these guns to their point at the sky and just like lean them forward and blow up freaking tanks with them like it makes sense all right well let's leave them alone for a moment This is one of the cities where I thought we might have a knockdown drag out was uh, Nantes. It does not look like that's going to be much of a fight. The um, Panther is not an easy unit to beat, but we've got air superiority or air supremacy, and they're not. Uh, they don't have air defense up there. We do have uh, another Luftwaffe plane that showed up. They just they just show up individually. Said it before, I'll say it again. Welcome to the war, Terry. Auf Wiedersehen, schmuck. All right. Le Mans, the 24 hours of bombing Le Mans. So you now have one ammo, and you are about half suppressed. So if we brought you up here, you would eat that last uh, barrage of ammo, but not really take much damage from it because your tanks it took some damage. Okay, that was pretty much perfect. Uh, about as good as we could have hoped that would go. Although I suppose I should have checked to make sure that I didn't have more air power that was uh, readily available for use. We'll just reduce your entrenchment a tiny scotch. And kill some of you.
Oh, I should have brought you up here, damn it. Oh, well. <sighs> Alright. It's the tougher target, but we need to win this fight at some point. And we've got the airfield now. G.I. Joe, American Engineers, on the move. Getting outperformed by Germans. <laughs> Guess I kind of forgot about all my elite tanks here. I just sort of ignored them for some reason. They came in and mopped up after everyone else did the dangerous work. <laughs> Great job, elite British tanks. But we've taken Le Mans. So the next most interesting fight is actually here. Alright, so they don't actually get to... They sort of don't get to take, uh... Ah, damn you. Hanging out in the rivers. The range of three. So you are going to attack that typhoon unless I decide it's worth doing something about you. But maybe it is. Oh, with them on the river, too. This is really... Really a good time to hit them while they're just hanging around on the river. So they, on their turn, they'll still get to attack with their full six power, but they won't because they're uh, they lost uh, dudes. They they lost power, <laughs> brother. All right, being silly. Um, you guys did not get a chance to. Rearm. Is there tactical bombers? So I think we use our Spitfire here to just dig away at entrenchment and kill an enemy. That's always good. We got Vare Infantry and transports. Can you reach them? Cannot. So instead, come and hit these guys. These guys have lots of entrenchment, though. gonna go our way. I'm better off bringing you over here. Bridging engineers, I believe, are immune to rugged defense. So you should just take the city outright. Yep. Because I was pretty confident they would have the higher um Oh, there's no bridging engineers here anymore, okay. Pretty sure they would have the higher, uh, uh, the thing that means who fires first. I'm forget. I'm blanking on what that word is, but, um, they had it. It'd be lovely if you could hit that, uh, transport unit, but I didn't think you would. Transport unsafe. Thanks, Stephen Hawking.
Who's going to hit these guys in the next turn? we got a bunch of planes down here. I don't need to bring planes down for that purpose. You come up here and keep these elite mosquitoes safe. If I let this go long, I think we can finish a turn, because at this point, we're just moving dudes around. Got no more attacks to plan, really. Depression of four, do I want to come mess with you? Eh, we'll see. Of course, I wasn't just going to win that one, but uh, Free French, it's nice to give them a chance. I mean, this is France. These are Free French forces. It's, it's pretty cool to give them a chance to uh, rough up some of these Germans. That's not a good idea, so let's not do it. We do have a big fight over here coming up. I mean, I'm separating my guys from tank support, but with the amount of air power we've got, like, it's, it's just big, unanticipated German armor columns that are really a threat anymore. Alright, end this turn, give the Axis their turn, and we'll call it a video. Let me just double check whether I'm supposed to be buying anything new. We lost one core unit in this, which we're not happy about exactly, but, uh, no, I mean one auxiliary unit, no core units. And I'm not that surprised that they have no counterattack on this turn. So we have, uh, we've got about a third of our turn spent, but uh, the British and American scenarios, the major minor victory conditions, it usually major victory involves taking all the same objectives, but in a much shorter amount of time. So right up until the end, I'm always a little worried about whether I can still get a major. The Russian campaigns will have much more varied conditions, and it'll sometimes be like, um, you're not, you know, you've got the full turn count, but you can't. Like, you know, you don't even have to take all the objectives because there's so many goddamn objectives and they're so far away from your starting positions um, that if you just take most of them, you're good to go for a uh, minor. Anyway, that's it for this video. When we come back next time, uh, yeah, Cobra's been, you know, the very, very beginning when we were just like completely... We were basically at Cherbourg with, uh, I guess we had St. Lo, St. Lo, and uh, like we had to take whatever that city's called and Lassay and blah, blah, like we had some pretty, uh, pretty tough fighting early, but we broke that line very quickly and we've just been rolling across France ever since. Thanks for watching, guys.